in 2014, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth was released. In this remake, a few new characters were introduced, one being The Lost. The Lost was supposed to be a super secret character that was unlocked by a very obscure series of events. First, you would die to a mullaboom as Isaac in the basement or cellar. Then you would kill yourself with bombs as Maggie in the caves or catacombs. After that, you die to mom during the boss fight as Judas. And finally, you die to Satan's projectiles after beating the Fallen during the Satan boss fight as Azazel. This was supposed to be a community-wide scavenger hunt where everyone would work together to figure out the secrets. If you died in a self-sacrifice room while holding the missing poster, you would get the first hint. And so on for each step. I put a link to a Reddit post that covers this topic more thoroughly in the description. However, Data miners discovered this very quickly and it became common knowledge within a few days. And the devs were very disappointed. So less than a year later, they tried again with a new character, and this time it was successful. They avoided data miners spoiling everything by simply leaving out some parts of the game at launch. Today I'm going to explain the scavenger hunt that had the community theorizing, digging for answers, calling strange phone numbers, and even setting out on two real world expeditions. I did a lot of research for this video, but I decided to link just one reddit post in the description. It covers everything very well and has links that lead to everywhere you need to learn more about the ARG. And by the way, if you end up enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Now, let's get into it. This is truly a fascinating and oddly creepy story that shows the devs love for mystery and the discovery of secrets. But first off, what's an ARG? ARG stands for Alternate Reality Game. Essentially, it is a game or a series of puzzles that is able to be interacted with in the real world. The best way that I can describe it easily is it's a scavenger hunt that can have clues from inside a game, online, or anywhere in the real world. It's up to you to put the pieces together. Usually, these are very obscure and take an entire community to figure out. Now, let's dive into the strange story of the Afterbirth ARG. Afterbirth was released in 2015, less than a year after Rebirth. Afterbirth was a general expansion of the game, and one of the features was a new mode called Greed Mode. Greed Mode is a 7 floor challenge with a boss fight against Ultra Greed at the end. This mode mostly centers around a shop where you buy items, trinkets, and consumables. When you kill Ultra Greed, a donation machine appears and you can donate any leftover money you have from that run into it. Assuming it doesn't jam, of course. You donate to unlock new items and mechanics for the game. At the launch of Afterbirth, the donation machine broke after you put 109 coins in. Several days after the release, it was fixed allowing the donation machine to store 999 coins. And a new achievement, Generosity, was added for filling the donation machine up completely. This made the community obsessed over the number 109. There were such theories as the greed machine was fixed 109 hours after release, the lost was data mined 109 hours after rebirth is released, but most importantly, the item money equals power is item number 109 in the game's code. We'll touch on that later. The number 109 also popped up in various places and messages from Tyrone and Edmund. During this time, there were several other mysterious clues in the game, including graphical anomalies when the quarter, the dollar, and money equals power were hovered over in the item collection. Most notably was money equals power. The message, where are you, was displayed near the item. On November 10th, Edmund made a blog post about general updates and news for Afterbirth. But people noticed the first letter of each paragraph spells out, you are so close, indicating that the community was getting close to the next step. Sometime around November 12th, once enough people achieved the generosity achievement, the Steam achievement icon was updated to display a piece of paper with black lines and dots on it. Taking the number of pixels in each line, with a double space meaning zero, the image translates to the number series 10869826610101. When you convert that series of numbers to an ASCII code, it becomes L-E-R-B-E-I-L. 
An ASCII code is a 7-bit character code where every single bit represents a unique character. When you use this code as an Imgur URL, it reveals a new image. The image is sized 109 by 109 pixels. It has a picture of the lost 8 human figures, a map icon, and a quote from Genesis 3035. That picture combined with some cryptic hints from Edmund's Twitter. The community figured out that it was supposed to be a reference to the movie The Lost Boys. You can see a Lost Boys poster in the background of this picture that Ed tweeted. So this picture being a reference to The Lost Boys made perfect sense. The eight humans in the background were meant to represent the eight main characters in the movie. And I'm sure it's obvious why The Lost is in the picture. But if that's not enough, Ed replied to a tweet saying, People are strange, which is the name of the opening song to The Lost Boys. The movie also took place in Santa Cruz, California at the Santa Cruz boardwalk. Santa Cruz was also where Edmund lived. Another thing about the opening is that there's many shots showing dozens of wanted posters. Edmund and Tyrone continued to drop hints via their Twitter accounts throughout the entire ARG. A Reddit user by the name of NirvanaGuy007's brother went to the boardwalk on November 13th and found a missing poster. It very clearly resembled the missing poster from the game. At the bottom is a seven digit phone number with the last three digits torn off. On the back is written, God is Spirit, which is a reference to John 424. And 424 turned out to be the area code of the phone number. The torn off numbers was quickly deduced to be 109. This number was obvious as the community has been obsessing over 109 since the start. Calling 424-444-0109 directed the callers to a voicemail. The number doesn't work anymore, but I'll play the voicemail for you. Hello, here's now. This is your phone off. I know what you came for, but I need to hear you ask me. As you can hear, portions of the voicemail are reversed. Here's what it sounds like when you unreverse them. Hello, Isaac. This is your father. I know what you came for. But I need to hear you ask me. It's worth mentioning that the voice on the phone is Matthias Bossy, the narrator and composer of the soundtrack in Isaac. In The Legend of Bumbo and Repentance, it is revealed that the narrator is in fact Isaac's dad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is the first instance that we've been given any context that the narrator is Isaac's dad. Anyway, let's get back on topic. You were able to leave voicemails to this number, so that's what people did. They were trying to guess what they needed to say to continue the ARG. The correct phrase was, where are you from the money equals power hint that I mentioned earlier. At this point, PC Gamer published an article summarizing the ARG so far. When PC Gamer asked Ed for comments on the matter, Edmund replied, bring a shovel. Around this time, another game patch was released which fixed several issues, but it also caused greed mode to crash the game. It's believed that this was an honest bug and had nothing to do with the ARG. Let's get back to the voicemail. On the evening of November 13th, once the correct phrase was said, the voicemail was replaced with a second message. Christ calls. Generous gods don't guide history. Forever. Once again, parts of the message were backwards. Let me fix that for you. Christ calls. Generous gods don't guide history forever. Knowledge grows. His final form ends beyond greed. We Edmund was making warmer and colder posts on Twitter to indicate how on track the community was. 
he sent out a tweet saying, We almost revealed more evil, right? The first letter of each word spells out warmer. Reddit user Dicks in My Ass was the hero we truly needed. Because of Ed's tweet, they got the idea of taking the first letter of each word from the voicemails, and this is what they got. He left out the whispered sentence that said, we need to go deeper. He tweeted this at Ed, who confirmed this to be the right answer. When you convert the letters to numbers with their corresponding alphabet numbers, you get this, which are GPS coordinates for a building in Santa Ana with the building number 109. The developers continued to drop Twitter hints and warn people to not do anything stupid or illegal. Around midnight, six Reddit members went to the location and explored the area. They found a yellow poster with Bible quotes on it. It had a picture of a person growing up, growing old, and dying on the back. This was later confirmed to have nothing to do with the ARG, just a very crazy coincidence. They also found a pile of change on the ground. They dug where the change was and it revealed a buried grade statue with a lot of cryptic writing on it. At some point that night, they also discovered someone in a parked car who drove off when they approached them. This was likely Tyrone who posted pictures of the expedition on his Twitter account, along with a lot, a lot of live tweeting. Using the writing on the statue, a Twitter page for Greed was found. The Twitter address is at I am Isaac's body, and the password was Isaac is dead. The account is still up to this day, but the password has since been changed. After the community gave him a voice by posting on the Twitter account, which was hinted on the statue, the developers uploaded an achievement unlocked image saying, the community unlocked something hidden. The game was then updated, adding a new character, the Keeper. The Keeper is unlocked by earning the Generosity Achievement, the one where you donate a thousand coins to the Greed Donation Machine. And that's where it ends. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe. And feel free to check out my other videos. I recommend the series where I go in depth of the biblical lore surrounding Isaac characters. Thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Tuesdays.